the main uh, aims of uh, objectives of this award is about uh, recognizing successful alumni who have made outstanding achievements and contributions to their profession, society, country, as a result of skills and qualifications they obtained through their UK education, and also showcase, showcasing the impact and value of UK education to key stakeholders in country, including government, corporates, and prospective students. Um, now, in their eighth year, the alumni awards are truly global awards. This year, more than one and a half thousand applications were received from alumni in more than 100 countries, representing around 140 UK universities. National level awards are taking place in only 23 countries, including for the first time in Uzbekistan, as we've told. Uh, applicants from all countries have been entered into the Global Alumni Award as well, uh, running parallel uh, to the national awards. And, uh, um, and Global Alumni Award winners will be invited to the UK uh, for a professional networking opportunity in autumn 2022. Um, our finalists today are also entered into a global award for this year and have a chance to become uh, finalists and global winners later in the year. Uh, this year, uh, alumni award was considered under four categories, uh, science and sustainability, culture and creativity, social action and business and innovation uh, categories. Uh, in Uzbekistan, we have been able to identify finalists for two categories, social action award and business and innovation award categories. Um, we had an extremely uh, strong pool of applicants from diverse range of backgrounds, professions, and contexts. And today's finalists are a small representation of many talented alumni in Uzbekistan who are using their UK education and experience uh, to achieve great things. Today's event is about celebrating and honoring these finalists and their accomplishments um, that have uh, benefited uh, many people in Uzbekistan and inspiring others to do the same. So um, good luck to all finalists and thank you. Thank you very much, Pratika. I already envy this year winners, those who will go and have all this exciting more opportunities. And I also want to thank you, the British Council, who is and all the team, because for the last 25 years, at least in Uzbekistan, uh, British Council is supporting young talents to give this excellent opportunity of studying in UK or getting some exchange mm, yeah. um, opportunities there. Uh, so, and now uh, to give the floor to representatives of the British Council, I would like to invite the director of the British Council in Uzbekistan, Mrs. Denise uh, Weddingham, uh, to uh, share a few words with us. Hello, everybody. Great. We just got me unmuted. So uh, welcome. I'd like to echo the welcome you've already had. It's uh, fantastic to be here today. Um, it is the first alumni awards in Uzbekistan. I wish I wish we were face to face. I wish we were sort of having one of those lovely face to face events uh, where we all see each other and celebrate together. Um, but we're together online. You know, the situation continues with COVID. So we thought that digitally was the way to go. But it is great to see you on the screen. Um, really nice um, to have you all join us this afternoon. Um, as is quite often, well, quite often happens when you're asked to say a few words, and then there's a couple of speakers before you, and they say lots that you were going to say anyway. So thank you, Shukra, and thank you, Dinara. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, Tim, for joining us this afternoon as well. So as, as Shukra has mentioned, the Study UK Alumni Awards recognize outstanding achievements made by UK alumni in Uzbekistan. And we have the evidence of that before our eyes today in the virtual ceremony, so that's really nice. Um, the awards, of course, reflect and celebrate the strengths of UK higher education system and the impact that a UK education can have on individuals. Um, not only just on the individuals, but also their communities and the country itself. 
So why did the British Council and UK universities develop the Alumni Awards? Well, the British Council was founded to create a friendly knowledge and understanding uh, between the people of the UK and all the other countries around the world. And we believe that international student mobility and transnational education builds long lasting connections and mutually beneficial relationships. So the um, Alumni Awards demonstrate the value of a UK education and what the impact has been um, for, for, for the individuals and for their communities. Um, by working together with UK universities and UK government, we can achieve mutual objectives and we um, are able to raise the profile of the UK higher education sector and continue building relationships between the UK and in this case, Uzbekistan. Um, as Dinara has mentioned, um, the British Council is celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. And during all of that time, we've worked really closely with the government of Uzbekistan and many other partners to support education reform and education development. Um, one of the um, things that we did over the 25 years is support the establishment of Westminster International University. And I know a number of you, a number of our finalists today are from Wyatt, so that, that's great. Um, so we, we aim to continue supporting cultural and educational reform, and we're, we continue to be very busy working on that. So, um, and we, we really like to have um, UK alumni uh, with us to support us uh, to further these efforts, because this is a really, really interesting time to be in Uzbekistan and uh, the changes and the speed of development in, in the higher education sector um, is really, really interesting and impressive. So I think today's finalists are an inspiration to future generations of students considering a UK education. Um, so, you know, if you, if you if you think you've had a good time with the UK education and benefited, please, please share your experience and encourage others. Um, we're looking forward to a great virtual ceremony today and um, to finding out who the winners are and um, to, to celebrating all together with you. So good luck everyone, but many, many congratulations from me to have been shortlisted for, for those who've been shortlisted. And I will hand back to Dinara, thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much, Denise. Uh, also with us today, we are honored to have Tim Torlet, who is ambassador of UK, Her, Her Majesty's ambassador. So I would like to give a floor briefly now, but we also expect later uh, one surprise uh, as well. So right now, if uh, Tim is ready, we will be happy to hear a few of his words. Thank you, uh, Dinara. And I now is that my is that my video working at the moment? I can't actually yes. see. So that's that's an that's an encouraging sign. Um, th thank you, thank you very much indeed, and thank you, Denise. Um, it's a huge pleasure to be uh, here and part of this first ever uh, UK Alumni Awards ceremony. Um, uh, I too uh, wish it hadn't been uh, online for all sorts of reasons. One is, as you've just seen, I have still not mastered the uh, the complexities of Zoom. Um, but secondly, because actually this was the it's been in my diary for a little while as a reception at the ambassador's residence, and I would much have preferred to celebrate this first ever ceremony with face-to-face uh, -face encounters and a drink and, uh, and, and something to eat. And uh, I, I just hope that next year, um, this great initiative, we will be able to, to, to celebrate in person and that we'll have an, an even stronger uh, selection of, of candidates and, uh, and, and, and a, a proper celebration. Um, so, uh, so so, so thank you. I, the other thing is that um, this week sees, uh, in fact, tomorrow sees the 30th of an anniversary of our diplomatic relations with uh, uh, with Uzbekistan. Um, so we're all having birthdays at the moment. The, uh, the, no, the first birthday of the Alumni Awards, the 25th birthday of the British Council and the uh, 
and the, the 30th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations between Uzbekistan and, and the United Kingdom. Uh, and this is, uh, so it's great to celebrate education, uh, celebrate partnerships between UK education and uh, our uh, outstanding Uzbek students. Um, so it's, it's, it's a perfect way of, of saying happy birthday. Um, as uh, others have said, the, uh, the awards uh, celebrate the achievements of outstanding international alumni uh, who've studied at UK universities in the last 15 years. Um, and in every case, the, uh, the finalists have gone on to make a significant professional, cultural, business or social impact uh, on their communities uh, back in, in, in Uzbekistan. Um, I believe that more than anything else, the international uh, mobility between the UK and other countries um, builds long-standing connections and meaningful relationships. Um, and that, that's truer in the education sector than anything else. We've UK universities have for centuries been attracting quality students from every corner of the globe. Um, our, uh, immodestly, our higher education is uh, among, among the best in the world um, and uh, UK institutions consistently perform well in world rankings. Uh, at the moment we have uh, four universities in the top 10 uh, globally in the QS World University rankings uh, this year. Um, but it's not just the, 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 uh, the elite level, it's uh, we have such a huge strength and depth and diversity of different sorts of, of tertiary institutions in the UK, from small conservatories uh, to the large metropolitan universities, with a whole range of dis different disciplines and, uh, and, and, and issues that you can study. And, now, and, and I'm truly proud of that. Uh, it, it's a huge asset um, and it just justifiably gives the UK you know, our highest profile in Uzbekistan for, as, a, as a result of those educational partnerships and relationships. Um, research shows that one in six world leaders uh, in September 2021, so last autumn, was educated in the UK. And 40%, two in every five Nobel Prize winners who'd studied internationally had chosen to study at a UK university. So we don't do too badly. And so all of you who've, uh, who, who've enjoyed the experience of studying in the UK and the discipline and the rigors of studying in the UK and the joys of UK weather, um, we'll, we'll know a little bit about why that's so true. Um, as Denise said, the, the, the inspiring stories of uh, this year's finalists uh, are a testament to the quality of, uh, of UK education. Um, and uh, I, I, I truly mean it when I think that this is the most important sector that we in the embassy and we, the, the British Council, work together with this country on. I'd very much like to congratulate all of the finalists and not just the winners. Um, and to thank you all for participating today. Uh, I wish you all good luck. Um, and, uh, and, and long may this uh, excellent tradition uh, flourish and prosper. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim, for inspiring speech. So I assume our future inspiration should be to aspire for Nobel Prize. But before the Nobel Prize, I think uh, people are impatient to know our alumni prize. <laughs> and uh, without further ado, I would like to uh, talk about our first category, which is called Social Action Award. Uh, and this award uh, is distinguished alumni who have made an exceptional contribution and commitment to creation uh, of positive social change and improving 
the lives of other people. Right? So areas of work uh, where potential winners actively contribute include uh, reducing inequality, uh, poverty and hunger, education and upskilling, peace and justice. Uh, it's a very significant award. And for this award, we have three finalists. Uh, let's watch the video where these finalists introduce themselves. Yeah, thank you very much. So we have seen who are the nominees. Uh, and now uh, we should announce the winner. And for this, we should uh, watch the next video with the uh, uh, announcement of the winner. Let's see who will get it. Congratulations, Sukhrov. This is very well deserved, as I assume. So, if you want to say a few words uh, about, like, just now the floor is yours. So, please share your impressions. Sukhrov is a very active member of UCAN community as well. So, I well, think this will inspire you to do more. Uh, community <laughs> and he is just back from the operation <laughs> <laughs> probably yes, yeah. yes thank you so much uh, i know uh, apparently the using a zoom uh, with these kind of events with awarding is somehow maybe is eas easier for winners because my all emotions were out of microphone <laughs> i just shouted in this room rather than there were some patients but i think they are fine as well Using a moment, uh, I would like to thank. It's an honor for me to be here in this event. Uh, it's incredible. My thanks regards to two great nations, Uzbek nation, who gave me this opportunity to gain this knowledge, this education, being uh, uh, being a doctor in this sector, and also for a UK nation, a British nation, who gave me these opportunities to enlarge, to expand uh, uh, my skills and uh, research knowledge as well in my field, my field of the sports medicine and in general medicine. Uh, I, will, I devote my, this award to my uh, family. Without my parents, uh, it, it, it couldn't be happen. Uh, I devote this award to my uh, brothers, sisters, and of course, my wife, who always used to support while my, I was studying in, in, in London as well, and my two brilliant kids. Uh, I use uh, this award actually um, not do not so much design, design designates me rather than it gives me more responsibility to continue uh, to continue what I'm doing now to to keep uh, continue to study and work for a healthy life of uh, people in the in, in our country in general in the world. Thank you so much, British Council, for this award. Thank you. Thank you, Sukhrov. Yes, this is very touching. And I assume we had some videos also with participants, right? Are we playing them now or later? Those interviews which they shared. Yes, please, Jahangir. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kamila Alimjanova and I am honored to be among the finalists of the UK Alumni Awards. I currently work in the Advice for Small Businesses program of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. 
I also worked for 12 years in the United Nations system in the project on economic governance, sustainable growth, education and gender. I think that my studies at the University of Westminster at both bachelor's and master's levels helped me a lot to broaden my, my horizons and it had a great impact on my professional growth. I am thankful to British Council for recognition of my professional achievements and education. Hello, my name is Sukhwarp Salif. Uh, I'm an orthopedic and sports medicine surgeon at the same time, consultant and manager in hematological diseases in our region. I graduated from the UCL University in the UK in back in 2019 uh, due to the Chimney Program Scholarship. And uh, right after returning back, coincidentally, I appeared in a COVID-19 period. However, I continued and contributed all learned and uh, uh, learned the skills from the UK so, uh, towards our younger generation uh, in order to be a leader and be an excellent in their field of uh, healthcare sector in our country in general in our uh, region for which I'm very grateful for to British Council and uh, UK thank you so much Hello everyone, my name is Eleonora Mingriva and I've been selected as a finalist uh, for the British Council UK Alumni Award in the Social Actions category. I'm very pleased and honored by this award. I, in 2018, I received a Harambe Trust Educational Scholarship and studied my MA in TESOL at the University of Warwick. I'm the founder of the new project which is called uh, Netrus. This is the network for teacher researchers in Uzbekistan which offers free professional development opportunities for English language teachers around Uzbekistan. Excellent, thank you very much. So now we know who were the finalists and who uh, and why became a winner. Uh, so congratulations once again to Sukhrop. Our second category is uh, the Business and Innovation Award, which is even more exciting, I think, for me personally. Uh, and with this award, we recognize alumni who are active in initiating and contributing to innovative or creative new ideas, solutions, or business opportunities that have a big potential for growth. Uh, so let's now meet the finalists. Let's watch a video who are the nominees for this finalist actually for this nomination. This should be the video of their interviews as well. Please, can you share that with us? Hello, my name is Inkyla Tetrafimova and my UK educational story began when I was a little girl of approximately 10 or over 9 years old and I drove through the streets where Westminster University is located and said I will study here. The British education gave me the opportunity to gain some knowledge in analytical skills, economics and being self-disciplined as well as a good group member. About the UK Alumni Award, I knew but I have never experienced or tried to be the participant of this program and now I'm really happy to be the finalist of this award. Hello, my name is Hoshit Kadarev. I'm a graduate of Westminster International University in Tashkent 2016 with a degree in Business Administration. So far, I am very grateful for the British education to broaden my understanding of international business relationships and environment. And because of this, I have established the Astro Maite Academy in Yangi Bazaar District, which I'm very proud of to this day. I would like to thank the Study UK Alumni Award for selecting me as a finalist of the Business and Entrepreneurship Award in Uzbekistan and I'm very grateful for the Westminster International University and the British Council to provide me with such opportunity. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Farhad Jan Israelov. Uh, 
Thank you for the British Council for choosing me as a finalist and currently I'm working as the head of uh, Center for Coordination of Investment Activities and Project Management. Um, I studied at St. Andrews University, I did my Masters and it really helped me to boost my career. Currently I'm working with the foreign investors, helping them to invest into Uzbekistan. Excellent. We wish good luck to all of our finalists. I think all of them deserve uh, some prizes, but we need to uh, know who has been chosen. And so I ask for the next uh, short video, which will announce our uh, winner in this category. Hurshid, we congratulate you. This is really great that you got this award. If you have some words to say, you are welcome now to share your ideas, emotions, impressions. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank you for such an amazing opportunity to be here amongst other finalists. And uh, well, it was surprising for me to be the winner. That's why I have like a few words to say right now. But uh, as overall, I would like to thank the first of all, the Westminster International University in Tashkent, because uh, back in 2012, I was given the opportunity to, to study uh, in a scholarship program amongst 20 other uh, candidates. And for during these four years at British University, I was truly amazed by how uh, how outstanding the education program there is. And I actually had the opportunity to work at the Westminster University in Tashkent for uh, about a year, like three years ago. Uh, well, uh, I don't know what to say uh, really, but uh, I think all the other candidates are great as well. And Again, thank you very much for this opportunity. Yes, I totally support you, Hurshid, that everyone is so great. And we see that all the finalists, I'm sure that other ideas and candidates were also great. And uh, for this reason, I think oh, partly, uh, partly for this reason, but also to encourage the students, we have uh, now it's time to announce our surprise. So the surprise is that uh, for this year, we decided to have a special third category. And this is called Ambassadors Choice Award. Uh, so team uh, would kindly uh, explain us why uh, this happened and what uh, does this mean? And uh, please present this idea yourself. Thank you, Dinara. I, the, um, I, I can't take credit for this idea. Um, uh, the, uh, but it was a lovely idea from, from the British Council that the quality of the finalists was so high that um, that we wanted to create a third uh, a third prize, um, which uh, obviously excluded the two uh, winners of the first categories, but allowed me to look at all the finalist entries and to choose one particular. Uh, uh, alumnus or alumna that uh, that struck me as uh, as special, um, and it was a really tough job. It was a, I, the uh, I don't I don't I wouldn't have volunteered if they hadn't thought it was a good idea, but because the quality of the the finalists was so good, as you said. But in the end, I chose someone uh, who had used their studies not only to further their own career, um, as everyone had done, um, but to benefit others in an area uh, that was absolutely crucial to uh, the, the, the UK in, in Uzbekistan. And um, I loved the dynamism and the commitment and the ambition and as much as anything, what, what shone through the application for me was a, a real sense that 
uh, this person's time at the, un the, the, the British University at which they'd studied, which if it's not giving it away was Warwick University, had uh, truly been transformational, um, both to them uh, personally, but also professionally, uh, leading a whole host of other people to benefit and to continue to benefit from those studies. And that was pretty special to me. So am I, am I allowed to uh, announce the winner or are you going to do this in yes, the video? Yes, please, yes. This is, a, 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 as I suggested at the beginning, the um, my low-tech version of the awards ceremony. Um, but the winner of the Ambassador's Choice Award for this year is Eleonora Menglieva. Uh, so huge con congratulations to Eleonora and to Shukrat and Khurshid as well. Uh, and thank you very much for me. And there's a very special... Uh, Ambassador's Choice Award of wow. some British tea. With, I, I think it might not be all, but it's uh, that's that's my special award. Excellent! Thank you, Thank you very much, and congratulations to Eleonora. I think this was very surprising for everyone, but especially for her. So please, Eleonora, if you want to share uh, some words with us, please. Uh, now we can give you the microphone. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. That was very unexpected, I could say. I was like, I didn't expect that. Thank you so much. I'm incredibly grateful and really humbled, you know, to receive this award. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Thank you for the British Council and um, Hornby uh, Education Trust Scholarship, British Embassy um, and the University of Warwick uh, for this great opportunity and for this award and recognizing all my efforts and I've, I will be doing all my best um, to of course to contribute to the teacher communities that we have here and I'm so pleased that my uh, efforts were recognized thank you so much and I'm really grateful for everything thank you Eleonora yeah this is really great yeah and we have diversity of participants and now our official awarding part is over but if anyone wants to volunteer to tell something if anyone has tea in their hand we can make cheers a little bit yes so and a whole and wish that next time next occasion we will meet at the uh, or, or offline at the EZ, the residence, or at other places. We are also with UK alumni thinking about Navarro celebration. So let's cheers to the opportunity to meet offline and to celebrate uh, all these brilliant participants' uh, achievements, um, prizes, or just aspirations in our life. So if anyone wants to uh, tell something, please raise your hands. Uh, and you can also speak after the closing remarks as well. Uh, so yeah, Jamal uh, Kuryozov wants to tell something. So please, I will give a floor to you as well. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, Umidopa. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, Hi, Jamal. Uh, thank you very much for giving me such a great opportunity and uh, participating in this event. I'm from Elder Community Foundation. I think some of you now this uh, foundation and we also closely uh, have some relationship with British Council and the British Embassy and uh, uh, approximately like uh, more than 200 of our scholarship holders uh, studying at United uh, UK in United Kingdom and as you know like uh, United Kingdom is very famous for its education with a great background of course and um, uh, the actually the main uh, goal of our uh, foundation is training highly qualified and competitive uh, professionals uh, abroad for the dynamic development of Uzbekistan. So please, yeah, uh, we give the opportunity to youngsters uh, to study abroad. Like uh, we cover all their expenses, including uh, tuition fee, living allowance, of course, as well as and the other expenses. Please uh, welcome. You can just apply also in our fund uh, for scholarship and. Uh, we also give like a great opportunity to all our youngsters. Thank you very much. And we yes, also have you, some yes. uh, like a memorandum of understanding with the Queen Mary University and Warwick University as well as. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank uh, you, Jamal. I think most of the people who are here already 
uh, have education internationally, but I'm yeah. sure they will be able to share with younger uh, friends and family. So Denise also raised the hands, please. Uh, if you want to say something, feel free. Thank you. I just wanted to um, again offer my congratulations to everyone, but also very much to our three winners. Um, really inspiring to to hear about what you're doing now for all of you. So uh, many, many congratulations. And I hope to meet you. I really hope I don't think I haven't met any of you. So I really hope to meet you sometime in the course of our work. So <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Yes, we are with the alumni uh, club trying to be more active and hope this year we have less restrictions in Uzbekistan and we will have more chances to meet with everyone. Uh, so now I would like to give the floor to uh, Shukrat Aman for some closing remarks and then we will finish and we are very good in time. So, and we have all the 20, almost 30 participants here and I'm glad that everyone is still here and uh, in the same spirit, like in all this sharing our joyful day. Thank you, please, the floor is Thank yours. Yeah. Thank you, Jenara, and, and, and congratulations to the winners. Now, I just would like to inform the finalists and winners of the next steps. So basically, British Council is going to meet with each of the finalists and the winners next week and, um, and hand over certificates and, and trophies to each one of you. Um, we are also providing a prize for each winner of uh, 1,000 uh, pounds. Um, which uh, should be used as an opportunity for you to build your professional network, uh, meet high profile individuals, benefit from professional development opportunities, uh, and develop your uh, relationship with the UK and UK universities. Um, so I'll be um, separate, ha having separate conversations with all the winners to identify such opportunities and uh, support the realization of those ideas which we will uh, agree together. And just to remind that all of these uh, finally, uh, our finalists are included in, uh, uh, and when the winners are entered into a global award, uh, which is going on right now. Um, and we'll contact uh, in a due course if uh, our um, finalists uh, and their applications are selected as the finalists for the global event. So without further ado, I'd just like to thank you for today. Thank yes, you. thank you very much for it again. It's really great that this uh, British Council keeps supporting even after the graduation, after many years of graduation. And I think this is the biggest power is that we stay together, we are connected and we keep creating new opportunities for us and for those who are around and even for the better world. Uh, so congratulations to everyone once again. Uh, and I encourage you to participate in future awards and events and activities of the British Council of the uh, British Embassy and all our uh, partners uh, and have a wonderful rest of the day uh, and thank you for joining us today. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>